There's no turning back now. This is a time for action, not Let's go. Come, Fade Weaver. Bring me your power. Sacrifice yourself and seal the fate of your world. It's time to choose your fate. Amethyn lies beyond. This is where the dragon will breach the veil. Come forward, mortals. Behold the birth of Tiernach. Attend your final hour. My fate does not lie beyond those doors. You alone may change what is to come. Go! Does the pain of your death still linger? <laughs> Can you feel it echo through the air? <sighs> and now, in this place, you shall witness the birth of Tiernach, the destruction of the Alpha, and the dawn of the endless winter. Tiernok the Powerful, Tiernok the Merciful, Kuala Fela Tiernok, Kuala Sera Tiernok. I done well, lady. Are you pleased? Is it that I you have I, served your purpose? But I, I have so much more to give. And now, faithless one, you shall serve yours. Come closer. Give yourself to me. Thank <laughs> you. 
children of this world is the first step on my path. Could we have known that this would be a new beginning? I wonder now if we should have foreseen this outcome, but who knew then what fate would bring? I would have liked to have delivered this message in person, to see you one final time. That, however, would have been complicated. The order to which I belong had other plans. Were you ever to leave the Crystalline Fortress? When it comes to you, though, it seems no fate is written in stone. It was only through my assurances that your silence could be counted upon, that either one of us still draws breath. I trust you will not make of me a liar. Were stories of what we have seen to begin to surface in the inns and taverns of Amalur, I would be asked to seek you out. And as we both know, the next time you die, there will be no return. But let us not speak of this. Your life is your own. Go now, and see what fate may bring you, or what fate you may bring. Perhaps one day in happier times, you and I will meet again. Until that day, I remain. Yours, Aelin Shear. Awake at last. You gave us quite a scare. But you're here, and the war's all but over. So who are we to complain? I was hoping you could tell us. Sidon and I were fighting a few remaining stragglers when all of a sudden they started this unholy wailing. I guess you must have killed Gadflo, because the Tawatha started screaming and ran away. There are still a few diehards. But they don't have the fire in them, you know? Wasn't much longer before Aelin showed up carrying you over her shoulder. Told me to watch over you, make sure you were okay. She left some kind of note for you. But I know better than to read a private message from the likes of her. There are still Tawatha who refuse to surrender, but yes, the war is ended. You should have seen the parade in Rathir. As for what's next, well, that's a tough question. See, a lot of the soldiers asked me for readings after the fighting ended, and, try as I might, I can't see a fate for any of us. Good? Perhaps. Freedom is a blessing, and a curse. 
If fate truly no longer holds sway over us, only time will tell if it is for good or ill. But regardless of what happens, Armalor and its people remain because of you. And no matter where your path leads, never forget, a person is defined by his actions. Who you are is up to you, and you alone. Go, my friend. Enjoy this world and all of its splendors. You've earned it. Good morning, sir. Champion of Melson Shear, how may I help you? Go with us. I don't place. believe my eyes. A pleasure. Good to see you up. The they have also allowed me to offer you access to. Reserve Armory, if you would care to have a look. I do hope your stay has been restorative.